Kevin De Bruyne is back. After missing 32 games of football in the 128 days he was sidelined for, he marked his Premier League return in typical KDB fashion, by scoring then assisting the winner in a 21 minute cameo, where Manchester City managed to turn around a 2-1 deficit to win 3-2 away at Newcastle United. His comeback has inevitably sparked the debate of where he ranks as an all-time Premier League player, and we're here to break down why he just might be the best Premier League midfielder of all time. Individually, Kevin De Bruyne is now joint third all-time for Premier League assists, with 103. But it's his minutes per assist that really puts the cat amongst the pigeons. He has 180 minutes per assist, which is the best in the top 20 assisters in Premier League history, by an absolute landslide. He also holds the joint record for most assists in a single Premier League season, with 20. And since he signed for Manchester City in 2015, no single player has created more chances in Europe's top five leagues than him. However, it's not just De Bruyne's creative numbers that have him held in such high regard. He is a respectable goal scorer too, and his ball striking ability is some of the best we've ever seen in England. Since 2015 in the Premier League, he scored 65 goals, from an expected goals number of just 45.98, showing just how clinical he is in front of goal. And almost a third of his goals have actually come on his supposed weaker side too, scoring 21 of his 65 on his left foot. But it's his ability when shooting outside the box which really ranks him with the elite. He scored the second most goals outside the box in Europe's top five leagues since 2015, behind only Lionel Messi, whilst having the second highest percentage of goals scored outside the box in Premier League history, with only David Beckham having a higher percentage than the Belgian. And the deeper we go into the data, the better Kevin De Bruyne gets. If we look at just the last 365 days in league football alone, he ranks top for every single one of these stats per 90 minutes amongst Europe's big five leagues midfielders. It's not ridiculous to put Kevin De Bruyne in the conversation of being one of the best Premier League midfielders we've ever seen. We've just shown you that he has the best assist per game in Premier League history, whilst having a more than respectable goal scoring tally, and to go hand in hand with both of them, he has now won 17 trophies in 9 years at Manchester City, including a treble and 5 Premier League titles, whilst he also became the third player in Premier League history to have won back to back PFA Player of the Year awards, with only Cristiano Ronaldo and Thierry Henry being the other two players to achieve this feat. But it's very hard to compare him to the famous Steven Gerrard, Frank Lampard and Paul Scholes trio. He's a very different player to Scholes, but closer to Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard. So, from the data we have available to us, De Bruyne still reigns supreme. He has the best minutes per goal involvement, more overall assists, a better percentage of goals scored from outside the box, and an overall higher win rate percentage than all three of them. And no doubt Kevin De Bruyne has benefited more from his team's style of play than a lot of other players, playing in the ultimate chance creating machine with him being the key component in that machine. In a positional play system like Pep Guardiola's, the pitch is theoretically split up into five different lanes, with the two smaller spaces inside each flank being known as the half spaces. And it's the right half space in particular that has benefited Kevin De Bruyne so much throughout his Premier League career. His ability to send in swinging crosses from this space has proven to be one of the most effective patterns in recent years of Manchester City. And we can see just how common this pattern is through De Bruyne's assist map, with the start of every single line being the position in which it was passed from. And as we can see, there are countless passes sent into the box from that space. Even though people may argue he's had the best structure and environment around him to help him shine the most, he produced an incredible season at Wolfsburg in 2014-15 at just 24 years old, the season before he signed for Manchester City, in which he scored 16 goals and made 28 assists in 51 games in all competitions. So, would you class Kevin De Bruyne as the greatest Premier League midfielder of all time, or do you think he still has more to prove to earn that title?